Okay, so day 30. 30 days in a row with 30 videos. That's an accomplishment in itself. Celebrate the small things I've been told. So 30 days in a row with the video, an accomplishment I never thought that I would hit. Hey Google, call Katie. Hi. How's it going? Good, good. How's work? Good, good. So I'm uh, calling to see if you're still interested in a ride. Yeah, totally. Okay, cool. And I think I'm meeting you at Wanda Fuca. Yeah, does that still work for you? That's awesome. Okay. Okay, I'll see you soon. Sounds good. Talk okay. to you later. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. How far is it from here to Wanda Fuca Rec Center by bike? You are 11.7 kilometers away from Wanda Fuca Recreation Center. Google, how far is it from here to Isuk by bike? You are 43.1 kilometers away from East Souk by bike. Jesse, great job, man. It was so great to see you knock off that 100K ride and on some of the toughest terrain we have here on the island. Uh, East Souk is, is very challenging. Lots of hills, uh, you know, lots of short, steep hills. Uh, so it was really neat to see you get through 100k over there because that 100k is probably going to take you quite a bit longer than the 100k that you're going to have to do in the ride to conquer cancer. Uh, as you know, it's a lot flatter. But we discussed last time uh, the importance of including hills in your training, even if uh, the terrain you're going to race on is flat because it just helps you gain some of that higher end fitness. Uh, hills always create resistance. You're working against gravity. Uh, so it's a great way to force you into some higher efforts uh, without having to, you know, really grind it out on the flats. Um, sounds like you had an amazing day. Uh, met up with a friend, uh, which is always one of the best parts about biking, the social component. Uh, so I was really stoked to hear that. Great job, Jesse, man. Keep it up. So I just went on a completely badass ride with this badass chick. 50k or so in, uh, great ride, Isuk, where else? Um, a chosen area. Cool. Yeah. So we're both doing the ride to conquer cancer, met through an aunt. Uh, she has an incredible story, so tell it! Tell so instead of donating to me, you should donate to her. Because, you know, that's what we do. We, 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 sh we help each other. And... Uh, She's Rose Petals in, because Rose was her mom's name. Petals is, you know, we're riding on pedals, right? I signed up because I've been wanting to do this race for a long time. I've been able to get some tools and, uh, and support this year. Um, a little more encouragement to do this race. Um, so I signed up and uh, asked my best friend to join me and she signed up right away. And uh, bought a bike within the next two weeks and we've been training ever since. Who are you doing this race for? <laughs> so I am doing this race for um, my mother and father. Um, they were both d diagnosed uh, with cancer um, around the same time when I was six and nine years old and um, uh, they both passed away and uh, I was adopted by my aunt and uncle with my, Woo! With my amazing parents um, that that adopted us we, and uh, and I've been doing this uh, in honor of them and to um, empower people um, to make like a change me. in there like me yeah. Empo she's empowering me she's empowering <laughs> pe people to do the race I don't I've had people been touched by this four people in my family grandma sister-in-law grandma um dad's had it uh but you know it's just like people's stories like that is the reason why we do this race mm -hmm. so high five for that high five.